Now, ever since January 2023, the month I decided to change my whole career from being a part-time TikTok dancer, renegader, and being also a part-time twerking coach on Twitch. I decided I can share a bigger message than, you know, teaching people how to shake their anaconda. That's when I got into the business of shitting on people online doing cringe stuff. Now, we talked about a lot of streamers doing dumb shit, putting forks inside toasters just to create a reaction in the live stream, just to make it dangerous and interesting. We talked about Neon, we talked about Jack Doherty, we talked about a lot of big streamers, YouTubers. But one name that has... I have never talked about, and I'm still shocked why I haven't researched about it. Maybe I wasn't just that interested. Is the name I'm sure you're familiar with. I'm sure the second you hear this name, you go, oh my god, this guy again? Johnny Somali. I'm pretty sure that's not his name. He just named himself. That's his online presence name. Now, why is Johnny Somali the one of the most hated, if not the, ha the most hated, IRL streamer out there. Jack Doherty, Neon, these kind of guys, they will go, they will talk shit to your face. But once you're trying to confront them, this big ass security guard either will knock you out of this planet and you will see stars or he will just push you and be like, what you will do? That is harassing people. But what Johnny Somali does takes it, harassment, it gives it a new definition. It takes it to a whole new level. Now, content in 2024, if you want to trend on Twitter, you want to trend on TikTok, is you get a reaction bait. It's like a rage bait you get out of someone. If you get, if you harass someone, you get a reaction out of them, that is a viral content and that is the most popular drug in 2024. I mean, it's been going on for a couple of years, but 2024, it, it's at its highest it's ever been. The clout chase now many of you haven't even heard of johnny somali in your life the reason is he is not that popular he just recently got popular over some viral clips that i'm gonna show you later on in the video but on his youtube channel he only has 14,000 subscribers i know he has more than me let me save you time of typing in the ground kush he has more followers than you no one cares. He started posting content a year ago with barely any viral content, trying different things, trying to find the niche that he's good at. But unfortunately, it was not working for him. So he decided to think outside the box, tear the box apart and see what really works, what people would like him to do, because whatever it is, he is going to do it. Now, after months of months of failed content, um, my best guess is he looked at Jack Doherty and Neon and he was like, you know what? I can be better than them. Why they're getting all this attention on Drama Alert? They're being on all Twitter accounts. I can do better. Instead of just harassing people, I'm going to make racist jokes. And if someone comes up to me, I'm going to be like, you're racist. This is the time where he went in the metro and this was his first viral content. And in the metro, he decided to get a live reaction out of someone after confronting them with an event that happened a couple of decades ago. You understand Hiroshima? Hiroshima, Nagasaki, you know. You know Hiroshima, Nagasaki? We're gonna do again. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. We do again. You understand? Now, if you're saying, Kush, why are you showing me a video of this guy saying random Japanese words to this Japanese man? What's so special about it? The word that he's saying, it is an event that occurred decades ago. That is the event. That is a 9-11 of Japan, but exit by 100. It was the time where the atomic bomb was first made and the Americans took it from the scientists. and was like, okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you for your help. Uh, if you watch the movie Oppenheimer, you can you know this. That was the hardest three hours of my watch. I literally fell asleep 12 times watching that movie. But, you know, the, we got the story at the end. There was at least some action at the end where they showed us exactly what happened. Like, hello, what do you mean? Where are you from? I'm, are you, where you, you know where I'm from? Where are you from? I'm from uh, America. You're from America? Yes. So am I. You're from America? Yeah, you're being obnoxious. You know what we do to you? What do you do? We will do again. There is no taking things out of context in this situation. It is straight to the point. You remember what we did to you? Throwing an atomic bomb? We will do it again. And what he wants is for someone to start act up, starts throwing punches, and boom. Fuck, I can't even... Boom. Content. Now, that video went super viral. It went all over the internet. Everyone started talking about it. He's ver He got very popular in Japan. 
and he starts getting confronted by people. What do you want to do? Chill out, chill out. Yo, what's up? Hey, chill out, chill out. I got you on camera. Call, call, for it. No. So I said it on the train. You say it? Yeah. Can somebody give me money? Somebody? You know, donation. So who? Somebody on YouTube and Twitch? I want uh, your reason. Why? Somebody, no okay. 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 Somebody give me a money. No. Somebody give me money, and they said, say it. No. So I said it on the train. You say it? Yeah. Can somebody give me money? When he got confronted by this Japanese biker, his excuse is, someone paid me for me to say it. It was a donation. I have to, because if I don't, I am not a WIRL streamer. It is in the law book of IRL streamer streaming that you need to give the people what they want. It's not my fault. I didn't make up the rules. It is the law. And if you break this law, it will be all L's in the chat. And it's unbearable. And I can't handle the fact to get L's in my chat. After that, he also got confronted by a couple of Japanese streamers and content creators as well. Hey, okay, don't I mean, hey, never did this to any other IRL streamers. What do you want to say? So what you did is one of the... Uh, something that is um, disrespectful for the whole Japanese community. Uh -huh. And that is why Japan is really, really mad. Don't tell me you are going to drop an uh, atomic bomb on Japan. Okay? Okay. The Japanese don't think you are good. Okay. I apologize to the Japanese. Come on. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay, no. Say. No, no, just say it. Go men aside, Japan. Go men aside. I'm sorry. They basically got him cornered and bro was like, okay, no more W's in the chat, guys. I'm going to take this one L because there's a lot of them and I'm really scared. So bro became a bitch to them and decided to say sorry and put his internet personality down, his savage mode down. And there, it was not worth the live reaction. But did, was this the end of it? Hell no. Honestly, with the amount of samurai movies I've seen, if I go in Japan, all I'm doing, bro, respect that shit. You gotta respect the culture. You gotta respect everything. Because God forbid, if you disrespect the culture, Mr. Yakuza's are gonna come after you. And they got swords everywhere. I know these are the things we see in the movies. It's probably different if you live there or you visited there as well. But uh, there's an th article that I read as well that came out that they're going to, because of Johnny Somali and tourists disrespecting the culture of Japan, they're going to stop letting tourists into certain places and minimize it as well. Same thing that happened with Bali. A lot of people were going partying there. They're going in ancient temples and just partying, doing um, haram sugars there. And they decided to ban tourism, f tourists who, who come to Bali to party from certain places as well. There's so many reasons why he's so hated. I'm trying to keep this as short as possible, but this video is probably going to be super long. One of the reasons is after that incident, he didn't want to look like a bitch anymore. He was like, you know what? Jack Doherty has a bodyguard. I'm going to have a bodyguard. But even after he got his bodyguard and the bodyguard protecting him out for a few weeks, he decided to get a live reaction out of the bodyguard by not paying him. Fuck, where's my money? 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 I'm a full of Where's my fucking money? Where's my money? I'm laughing. Where's the way? Hey, I did work for you. Where's the way? Where's the way? Let me go find toy. Let me go confront him. For what? For what? Pay me the money. You need to pay me for security. How much you want? What is going on tonight? What is going on tonight? Unfortunately, this is happening a lot on today's content creator industry where people do not create content anymore. There's no creativity in it. It is pranking. You know, har harassment is a cold, it's an equal definition of uh, harassment right now. You, you don't have to do anything. Just go insult them. Let them have a reaction. And for some reason, some people enjoy that. Even the 10-year-old Savage Kush who used to make a lot of, uh, you know, dirty jokes and all, even he wouldn't have enjoyed the IRL streams that this guy is producing. After that, he obviously had to pay the bodyguard because he, all he wanted to do, he was going to pay him either way. All he wanted to do was get a live reaction out of him. And afterwards, this is one of the big incidents that happened where both of them got knocked out, even though he's bleeding from his mouth and he's like, is he's like, it's worth it, viral content. Yes. One step closer to my dream, W's in the chat. They don't like, they don't like us, nigga. Stop hey, defending them. Y'all are ra you racist, you racist. You racist. You racist. Get the fuck out of here. Damn it, damn it. Just go, just go, just go, just go, you know. Damn it. Racist asshole. Y'all racist, 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 racist. All you have to say Don't is grab nothing. Uh.
Now the white guy in a shirt with the ponytail, he's been holding himself for the past couple of minutes. Holding all this anger, finding the perfect opportunity to release all of it with a big ah! and resulting in both of them getting knocked out, but it was all worth it to Johnny Somali because content. Later on in Japan, he was confronted by the police, by the government, and he was arrested. He was in jail and he got he went to court. He got a fine of 200,000 yens, which is equal to $1,400. And when the judge asked them, what was the reason for you? doing all these things he was like oh i'm just uh, documenting my travel experience unfortunately he was only fined a small amount of money and he also got banned from kick after the few incidents that happened he was first on twitch and he went to kick and he's banned also from kick now but obviously with kick's history <coughs> guess what guess what happened to him guess what happened to his account He's unbanned. I feel like with Kick's bans, like they ban you because everyone is shitting on you on the internet. And if Kick allows you to continue, it's bad marketing for them. So he's like, banned. Guys, look. Guys, everyone, look. We banned them. We banned her or him. And after two, three days, okay, things look calm. Okay, people probably forgot about you. Unbanned. Go do your thing. Surprisingly, he got unbanned from Kick and he decided to take his travels take his uh, racist jokes uh, somewhere else he decided to take his harassment and his uh, internet personality to uh, some other place it's not really a country but it's like it's a place called israel i don't know where it is but it's apparently it's on the map but it doesn't really exist this is the part where he went where the police in tel aviv were having like a gathering parade you know because they're suffering a lot during this hard times that they're going through so he decided to have a parade, a party in the middle of the street. And this is when Johnny came and decided to unleash his creativity riz. Now, before you come and comment, Kush, this was a protest in the streets. This was no party. I know, I was just being sarcastic. Calm your tits. Yes. Oh, you a bad bitch. I swear to God. You a bad bitch. Take you to dinner. I swear to God. I swear to God. I changed your life. I changed your life, baby. Baby, I changed your life. I promise you. You a bad Right oh my god, they're carrying a Yo, let the bitch down. Yo, yo, put the down, nigga. Yo, what the America? Don't touch me, bitch. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm from America. Don't touch me. I'm from America. Don't touch me. I slap that ass. I grab it too. Y'all know the Trump told me grab it by the pussy. I grab that too. Stop playing with me. I grab you. I grab it by the right here nigga i don't give a fuck. after watching this video i have no doubt that bro has bitches left and right climbing on him wanting to meet him because of his the game that he has bro goes and flirts with these police officers but little does he know he was going to attack by get attacked by some guy i think he had a crush on the for chick in the first video that we saw and decides to intervene and teach johnny a lesson <laughs> Oh, you I'm in the sidewalk. I'm in the sidewalk. I'm in the sidewalk. I'm in the sidewalk. Okay, okay, okay. Just another normal day in Israel with the forces, you know, using their power, getting drunk with power, and throwing human beings around. Bro probably was like, okay, if I get this guy in a headlock and I arrest him, maybe that chick will talk to me and will be finally interested in me. Oh shit. What am I going to do? America. I'm from America. I'm from America. USA. USA. Fight back. No, the ultimate defense in any situation is if you're in a foreign country, USA, USA. Well, the funny part is no matter how many times US tries to support Israel, Israel still doesn't like USA. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I feel like I feel like Israel has something that USA wants so bad. That's why like Joe Biden, uh, Sleepy Joe is just jiggling. Uh, what is Benjin Yahoo, Yahoo, Mahu, Gmail is tickling this guy's boss. But anyways, let's not get into politics in this situation. As you can see, bro is arrested. They're gonna carry him like a baby from his uh, legs and a lot of people are like oh he's done his career is over uh he's never gonna get out of israel's jail because of you know the reputation and all 
But one thing you got wrong, Israel tries to look good in media and once they found out this guy is actually American and is a streamer as well, well, and a lot of people are watching it and this news is going viral, they decided to let him go. There's a lot of fake news, fake media narrative. They're trying to bury me like I'm Trump. They're saying that I, I was arrested last night for sexually harassing a female officer. Do I look like someone who's the sexually harassed anybody? And the next morning he was in his hotel where the police reached out to him. Why? To ask him if he's okay. Were you mistreated last night, Mr. Famous IRL kick streamer who can make us look bad? Yes. Uh, Wait, let's do this downstairs. You're gonna get me kicked out of my hotel. What's up? What do you want to talk about? I want to ask you, what happened yesterday? If you feel good. I don't want to talk about anything. I need to talk to my lawyer. You don't want? I'll talk to my lawyer. You go to the hospital? I will talk to my lawyer. You don't want to speak with me? I do not want to speak with you guys. I'll talk to my lawyer. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. You feel good? I want to talk to my lawyer. Okay. This is good. harassment. I'm being harassed. Hmm? I'm being harassed. This is this the second, second time. I don't know. The second time police I is coming to me. I came here also to ask you, how, how do you feel? That's all. I just don't want to talk. I don't want to answer that question. It's Thank your you. choice. Thank you. Have a good day. He also came and posted this yesterday saying, man of the people, they want to silence me and they will fail. They are reporting all my social media accounts trying to cancel me and it will never work. He's talking about you and all the hate you know, he's getting from people all around the world. I have financial backing. I'm an American patriot and advocate of freedom of speech and expression worldwide so he's saying he's like andrew tate trying to share the truth and everyone's trying to cancel him but little does he know when people look at him all they see is a useless human being on this planet he will do anything he will sell his own mother just to get views and a lot of other commentary channels like big commentary channels they talked about him over the past few months and they start talking about him lately again after the incident and this is what he said. This is what was leaked on his Discord chat. He's saying we are going to censor and we're going to copy strike anyone talking shit about me. He's saying copyright strike at Tozi. He's a commentary channel. Decoy Voice, Umpaville uh, channel as well. And the moderator on his chat says the only way it works if it's not under fair use. He's like, I don't care. I'll sue all these guys. This, I'll false copyright claim them. I don't care what it is. They're talking shit about me. My feelings are hurt. I won't be surprised if this whole thing is a marketing thing as well. And he told them to screenshot it and share it on places as well. So this will get more traction. Because no matter these kind of people, the mentality is no matter if they... Uh, views are for a good reason or bad reason if the pe if they're going to be likable or hated it's still views it's still content it's still money it's it's still fame or on the other hand his feelings just might be hurt and he was like okay guys enough i know i'm getting free promotions everywhere but the way you're talking about me you're making my image look bad because i am a freedom patriot freedom expression top g uh freedom for the world speaker and they're trying to silence me, but I am a proud person. Like, imagine <laughs> what, the second he was screaming, this it just came to me. Imagine the second he starts screaming, I'm an American, I'm an American. What are you doing to me? Why are you taking me to jail? Imagine if Hummus jumped over the fences that night and they came. Will, will he stay? I'm American, I'm American. He will be like, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> He's gonna go full. He's gonna switch teams in a blink of an eye 100 percent. this is not going to be the end of him because he's a freedom speecher and he he's getting cancelled by the matrix and he's going to make his way back and he's still going to continue with these kind of content because even though 90 percent of people hate on him there's still that 10 percent that for some reason they enjoy this kind of content i mean there's a lot of sick people in the world who enjoy worse type of content let's just be happy they enjoy these and he sent a message on his twitter as well saying oh I did all of these things for kick because guess what? He got banned again. He was like, I did all these things for kick and I am banned again. He's probably going to get unbanned, but he's like, he's moving to rumble. Now rumble invited them. I feel like rumble is the last resort for content creators. Like after rumble it's over, there's, there's nothing left for you. If you got banned from all the social media accounts, rumble is the place where no one wants to go, but they have no other choice. So you just, forced to if they want to keep live streaming shit and unfortunately this is still going to influence more people and with the live streaming world that's going forward streamers are becoming very popular nowadays not all of them for good reasons and for the people like johnny somali there are going to be kids who want to be like him there's going to be more live streamers like jack doherty coming out in the future and hey i mean hey 
more content for me, right? I can't wait to shit on the new generation of live streamers, just me 30, 40 years old, just sitting and talking about these things. But yeah, I'm kind of bored. I feel like this video is getting too long now. If you want to watch more videos, click on one of these. Take care of yourself. Stay sexy. I'll catch you at the next one.